Welcome everybody, Film Fan 108 here, and I heard through the grapevine that the Dollar Tree has new stock of Blu-rays and DVDs at their stores, and I figured why not go and check it out. I did that first video and you guys seemed to respond really well to it, so I'm back doing it again, going and exploring on an out-and-about adventure to a few of the Dollar Trees to check out some cool releases, oddball titles, interesting, you know, artwork, all that cool jazz that you find at the Dollar Tree stores. So let's go on this adventure and find out what kind of releases that they have this time around. And I am at my first Dollar Tree location right here. So let's go in and see what kind of cool releases they got, guys. All right, guys, we are in the Dollar Tree here, and they do have some DVDs here and maybe some Blu-rays here. Uh, let's check out what they got. They got um, a little game with Ralph Macchio, Janine Garofalo, Olympia Dukakis, Maria Van. Did we see this the last time they did this, the Blu-rays and DVDs? God, I could have sworn we did, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's not a bad cast. It's okay. Hell at my heels. Um... RPG, which of course we saw the last time they did this. The day my parents ran away. Uh, it's time to party. Do you know where your parents are? Huh. I've never heard of this title. It's Risky Business meets Fast Times at Ridgemont High. What happens when a 16-year-old rebel is left alone with a big empty house and a credit card? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I haven't heard about this one. Uh... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really look like something up my alley, but whatever. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, In the Name of the King 3, The Last Mission. God, how many of these did they make? They just make three of them? Dominic Purcell. Join the battle, live the adventure. Eh. Uh, I think I saw the first one, and I really didn't care for it, so... Probably, probably not gonna pick up the third one. Uh, Ragamuffin, Jungle Tales, Lawless Range, mm, with Bo Bridges and Chris Christopherson. I do like Bo Bridges. Bo Bridges is actually not bad. I like, do like Chris Christopherson. I remember Chris Christopherson mainly from Blade. He was badass in Blade. Uh, okay, I don't know. Maybe? Eh, I don't know. Uh... What the hell is this? 108 Stitches? Winners come from behind? God, Roger Clemens is in this? Holy shit, what? If Animal House, Bull Durham, and Major League had a threesome, 108 Stitches would be its kid. Okay, I, geez, that's one, that's one hell of a quote from Roger Clemens. Um, I don't know, um, maybe? It kind of looks a little bit too sort of kind of wacky for my taste, but I don't know. Hmm. Uh, oh, Reading Rainbow. I used to love Reading Rainbow back in the day. That was my jam. Well, that and, Sas and Sesame Street, but wow, it's really cool. Hmm. Reading Rainbow. Episode 1 and Episode 2. Two versions, versions. Oh, this is a this is a different thing. It's not it's not the original Reading Rainbow that I that I remember. It's completely different. Okay. Huh. I don't know, it could be cool for kids. Um, oh, they have um, bull ride riding back. Oh, Lord, Lord, help me more more bull riding. Let's hope we don't see a lot of that. This uh, Phil. I think we saw Phil the last time. St. Trinian's, I think we saw the last time as well here. Mm, Borat, we saw the last time. Trinian's Da Vinci Code. Let's see what we got here. Bull riding. More, more bull riding. I swear to God, the Dollar Tree really loves their bull riding. 
Um, the 10, which I picked up um, the last time I did this, which is a really great film. Really funny, really love, love this movie. Really, really good pickup. Uh, Beyond the Lights we saw last time as well. Save the date. Mmm, interesting. Allison Brie is in this, Lizzie Kaplan. Mm, could be cool. Mmm. It's not bad. Maybe for a for a dollar. It's not too bad. Mm. If you guys know anything about Save the Day, let me know. Beyond the lights. Guilty Hearts, which I believe we saw last time in when we came here. I think we saw the last time. Angels. Hot Wheels, good for kids. Thank you. Princess, a modern fairy tale uh, from Disney Family. Oh, uh, I'm not really big into these ABC Family original mo movies. I don't know. Mm. Ooh, Glee. Glee Encore. Well, I don't know what this is. Um, you know, I was not really a fan of Glee back in the day. I'm not saying Glee's bad. I just was... It, it wasn't really my thing. I didn't really love it, but... Uh, I know a lot of people really dug it. It was a big thing. Um, hmm. I don't think I got that for a dollar. Uh, let's see... Zapped, which I think we saw last time as well. Zapped. Um, lullaby. Hmm. What do you say when everything has been left unsaid? Hmm. Huh. Not bad here. Uh, funny, heartbreaking, real, and not to be missed. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't really interest me. Simone, which we saw last time. Let's see here. Um, save the date. I think we saw this one as well last time, and I just I just thought the cover was really weird. I still do. God, it's so odd. With I don't know. For a dollar, it could it could be interesting. One of the most thoughtful and funny superhero films for adults. It does look really weird, though. Should I pick it up? L let, me, let me know in the comment section. Should I pick it up? Healthy Hearts, Glee. The Purifiers, which I think we saw last time as well. With Dominic Monaghan. Got that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Key Man. Huh. With Hugo Weaving, Judy Greer, Brian Cox, from the producer of Your Next and the Guest. That could be cool. I have not heard about this title. I do really love Hugo Weaving and Ju Judy Greer, Br Brian Cox, too. Stylistically pitch perfect film noir. Looking for a whole guy, two games. I think I'm desperate for money. Huh. That could be cool. I like the synopsis. That might be a pickup. That might be a pickup. Uh, let's see, ultimate there. Let's see here. to be it. I don't see any DVDs or any, I mean, sorry, any Blu-rays, but, eh. We'll check any, any other place if they have the Blu-rays, but I'm only seeing the DVDs, guys. Well, let's see what else they got. Uh, okay, guys, so the only other stack I'm seeing here is this, and it's all Blu-rays, but, um, Sleuth, 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 Sleuth. Oh, battle of the year. Sleuth, Sleuth. Oh, battle of the year. Battle of the year. Sleuth, 
Battle of the Year, Fluth, Battle of the Year, Fluth. Yeah, um, I don't see really anything new. These titles we saw last time, uh, this Dollar Tree really didn't get much in, guys, so, yeah. Unfortunately, not a ton new at this one. Uh, let's head out. Okay, so that was a little bit of a bummer, guys. Um, I talked to one of the managers, and basically she ended up saying that they really didn't get a lot of new stock here at this Dollar Tree, and whatever stuff that they did, which was really small, basically was picked over, so yeah so they didn't really get much new here um we'll still be on the search and look maybe the next dollar tree will have some really interesting and cool stuff to look at um let's hope but this is a little bit of a bust so let's head out all right everybody we are at the second dollar tree location here and let's go in to this dollar tree location and um see if we have better luck at this store guys okay guys we're in this area here and they have some dvds and blu-rays not much but they have some uh guilty hearts we saw win-win okay i do like this i actually really like paul giamatti a lot this is a really good movie. I don't own it, but I really do like it a lot. Win-win's good. They have... Glee again. They have Glee. They have... Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I ended up seeing this movie, and the first time I saw it, I really hated the movie. I don't know, I just was expecting something different, but it actually ended up really, um, the more I watched it, and I watched it a few more times after that, I actually really did like it a lot. It's not bad. Uh, oh, another one. Ride. Ooh, written and directed by Helen Hunt. That's interesting. Luke Wilson, Bretton Thwaites. Huh. A reminder that Hollywood needs Helen Hunt. Uh, Hmm. This could be cool. Uh -huh. I like that. Uh, let's see what else. They got the... Oh, jeez. Look at Christopher Walken. God. That is a terrible wig. Holy shit. The Power of Few. Christopher Walken, Christian Slater, Anthony Anderson, Moon Bloodgood. What the fuck is this supposed to be? An unthinkable crime, an unlikely hero. A diverging crime scene brings together... The Whoa. Uh, it could be cool. I don't know. It was like a terrible wig, though. If you guys know anything about the power of few, let, let me know. Not that. Um, ooh, the way, way back. I do remember this movie. It's not bad. Fox Searchlight Pictures. Uh, huh. I heard good things about it. I, I I saw the trailer, I saw bits and pieces of the movie. It was good. It wasn't bad. Way back. Very nice. One one of the newer titles we're seeing. Um Black Nativity. Could be really cool there. Awesome. Huh, that's nice here. I'll say that. We got Oh joy. Wow. This is one of like one of the more like recent m movies. I'm kind of shocked that they actually got this in. Wow, I'm really shocked about this. I wasn't expecting to see Joy here. Joy is one of the more like recent ones. I wonder, hmm, they must like be backlogged with stock to get Joy. Hmm. Joy, they got that. Charlie Countryman. I heard about Charlie Countryman. I've never seen it. I heard it was good though. Huh. Let me come to me, they got that. Uh, parental guidance, which I've heard really shitty things about. I got that. Exodus, which is a real shitty movie. I do not like this movie. Um, 
white people pretending to be Egyptians. Really terrible m movie. Did not care for it. Yeah, didn't care for that movie. Road less traveled with... Uh, uh, eh, I think I'll pass. Messenger of the Truth. Oh, the truth. Black man activity right there. Felicia Day and the Guild. Season three. I've never heard of the Guild. Uh, hmm. Let me know what you guys think. The Guild. I never saw it. Uh, oh, they got the DVD of Paper Towns here. Nice. Boy, they actually have a lot more selection than the other place does. I don't know. That's really cool, actually. Hmm. Dark Frontier. Western, which... Hmm, doesn't really look up my alley. Um, the DVD of Charlie Countryman. We got... We Bought a Zoo. Wow. I actually really like We Bought a Zoo. I watched this in the theater with my mother. And it was actually a really good m movie. Not a movie many people talk about, but it's really good. I really will like that movie. Uh, Paper Town with the MIDI. Uh, Bubble? Another Steven Soderbergh experience. What is Bubble? Experiment. Whoa. I really like Steven Soderbergh, but I have never heard of this movie. This might be a pickup. Wow. I am really interested. I love Steven Soderbergh. I can't believe I've never heard of this movie before. Whoa. Yeah, this could be cool. Bubble, huh. The Congress with Robin Wright. What's your money? Whoa, that could be... That could be cool, too. Huh. Oh, that could be cool. The Congress. That's not bad. Huh. Congress, I got that. They got a four-pack here of comedy. The Amateurs, Meat Bill, Relative Strangers, and Scorched. I think the only thing I've ever seen of this is actually Meat Bill. Um, don't know about the rest of them. Hmm. I don't know. That, that, that could be cool, actually. Should I get it? Let me know. Towns. Oh, let's traveled. Ah, Don John. I saw this, and I really like it a lot. Um, it, it's kind of one of those romantic comedies where um, it's very stereotypical, but I actually really enjoyed it a lot. And again, this is another one not many people talk about. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Scarlett Johansson, really good in this movie. Hmm, huh. very cool. Look at that. City Island, which I've never seen before. City Island. Um, the Passion Live. Clear Eye for the Red Sox? Uh, probably my girlfriend would like this, but no. Um, the Humbling with Al Pacino, Greta Gerwig, and Diane. Another one, Barry Levinson. Whoa, another one I haven't heard of. God. This Al Pacino or... Huh, that could be really cool. I like Al Pacino. Can't believe I've never heard of this one either. Hmm, color me shot. Some really good ones at this, uh, this, uh, this Dollar Tree. Not a lot of selection, but definitely a lot of really new and unique titles we haven't seen yet. 
Hmm, let's see what else they got, guys. Okay, we are in this section of like the phone, tablet, audio area. And yeah, they've got actually some more stuff here to look at, honestly, guys. Um, Country Crush. Uh, probably not my thing. Uh, Hamlet 2. Oh, shit. You know, I actually watched this movie. It is a really fun movie. Um, kind of a little bit bizarre, but I really liked it a lot. Huh. Really shocked they have Hamlet 2 here. Uh, let's see here. What's they got here? Ray Charles, A Gospel Christmas. Okay. Um, what else they got? They got Drumline. Special edition of Drumline. Not a bad movie. Uh, let's see here. What else they got? They got The Longest Ride. Really interesting um, romantic drama. Eh, you know, kind of reminds me of a lot of Nicholas Spark stuff. Um, let's see. Locker 13 with John Grease, Ricky Schroeder. John Grease, man. I remember John Grease from uh, from Real Genius. Ah, damn, man. Now that's my jam. Huh. Locker 13. Let's see what else they got here. Oh, I guess right. Anything new here? Um, ooh, the King of Comedy. Whoa, that's really cool that they got this. Nice. This this might have to be a pickup too. The King of Comedy. Oh, I haven't seen this movie in a long ass time. God, I, I remember really loving this too. You got ooh, Police Story with Jackie Chan, but or Police Story Lockdown, I should say. If you guys have not seen any of the police story ones with Jackie Chan, go ahead and do it. Jackie Chan is is one badass motherfucker, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Stolen. Nicholas Cage and Stolen. Nicholas Cage. I gotta watch that new one of his. Uh, Mandy, I think it is. I gotta watch that because I heard really good things. But Nicholas Cage and Stolen. Let's see what else they got. I got that 108 stitches. Okay, pass on that. Uh, Ninja 2. Ooh, interesting. Oh. I think I think I saw this. I think I did. It's been a long time though. I don't remember it. Uh, runners. With James Fox and Jane Asher? Huh. Really looks like an old school like cover, like really like a little, like dirty cover, like a like something. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's see what else they got? They got uh, of course the usuals, little game. Accidental Love, another romantic comedy thing. I do remember this though. Eh, it was okay. It wasn't great. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Kristen Bell and the Lifeguard. Don't think I ever saw this. Coming of Age movie of the summer. Hmm. Huh. Could be cool. Let's see what else? They, anything else they got? Oh, The Fault in Our Stars. I love this movie, guys. I really do. Honestly, I I saw this movie... Yeah, yeah, I saw this movie with my mother. <laughs> my mother loves these, these romantic ones. Um, yeah, this was really good, man. I was surprised by it. I, I liked it a lot. Whoa, okay, that's really cool. i have to get that, too. I like that one. Uh, let's see here. Flirting with 40? With Heather Locklear? Oh, that is weird. I have not... What the hell is this? Would you risk everything for a chance at happiness? Uh, uh maybe? I, I don't know. The cover is kind of generic, though. I don't know. If you guys know anything about flirting with 40, let me know. Uh, Moonwalkers, I think we saw last time I did this. American Warships, remember last time. Island. 
Anything else? They also have the DVD of Bobble, but if there's a Blu-ray, why not just get the Blu-ray? Oh, the Counselor! I I watched this movie. It's it's an okay movie, but I will admit, Ron actually recently picked this title up in like a five dollar bin or something. Well, could have got it for a dollar now, but and he told me it was it was good. He loved it, but he thought like that scene with Cameron Diaz on the hood of the car I won't spoil it for you guys he said it was it was oddly he was really um he was really in, intrigued by it put it that way and I was like really because I don't know it's kind of just kind of a little too odd odd for my taste but hmm uh, let's see about Schmidt love Jack Nicholson not a bad movie oh Schmidt huh not bad either. Soldier of God. The Virginian. Looks kind of generic. Hmm, let's see. Echoes of War. Ethan Embry. William Forsythe. Make a Monroe. Huh, that's actually not, not, not a bad cast. Oh, really cool. Hmm, huh, a little war. Wow, I'm actually really impressed with the selection here, guys. I am really impressed. I really like what they got. Dog Whisper with Season Merlin. Wow, I actually really love what they got, guys. I am thoroughly impressed. Much, much better than the first place we went to. This is awesome. Definitely, definitely much, much better. Holy shit, guys. That was beyond awesome. I cannot believe that they had great selection at this one the first Dollar Tree had barely anything new this one had a whole crap ton of stuff new I mean my god man they definitely had a lot of great selection a lot of cool blu-rays and DVDs yeah man I'm hoping that the next place we go to has just as much selection I was really surprised very happy here and I'm definitely gonna pick up a few titles let's see where this adventure takes us next guys all right, guys, we are at our third Dollar Tree location here. You know, it's been very interesting. We've actually seen a lot of really cool selection at that second place, man. It was really cool. I'm hoping that they have some really cool stuff here to check out, at least some newer stuff we haven't seen yet. Let's go in and check out what they got. All right, guys, we are in at this Dollar Tree, and they have an okay amount of stuff, some things to look at. Uh, the Blu-ray DVD and digital of Walter Mitty. We saw the DVD, at least they got the Blu-ray. Mm, Blue Crush 2. I saw the first Blue Crush. Um, don't know how good Blue Crush 2 is. Probably not that great, I'm gonna say. Uh, probably a pass. Uh, Blu ray of Don John. They got Zipper with Patrick Wilson, Lena Hetty, John Cho, Richard Dreyfus. Ooh. This year's Gone Girl. A federal prosecutor on the channel. Whoa, that looks really cool. Hmm. I've never heard of this. I don't think this ever came to theaters. Hmm. Huh. Let me know what you guys think of Zipper. Uh, let's see, they have... Ugh, what a piece of shit movie. Hitman Agent 47. Uh, ugh. Uh, let's see. Bruno, another real piece of work movie. God, I really don't like this movie either. Sasha Baron Cohen, I really only like the, the Borat movie. Beyond that, everything else just really sucks. Uh, Bruno. Uh, uh, let's see here. The Good Life with the Reese Witherspoon. I heard of this. I've never seen it. Um, mm, mm, I don't know. Mm, eh, let's throw out that one. Let's see. Pink Panther 2. Hmm. I do like that first one with Steve Martin. I thought it was kind of goofy fun, but... 
I remember not really liking the Pink Panther 2. It wasn't so great to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm eh. Yeah. I, of course, the originals can't beat them. Hmm. Not bad, though, for Blu-ray. Uh, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. Whatever happened to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? That's when I watched that when I was a kid. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. Hmm. Um, uh, oh, you got more bull riding. Uh, Hector and the Search for Happiness? Never heard of this movie. Mm. I like Simon Pegg. Never heard of this one. I don't think this ever came to theaters either. Huh. Not bad. What else they got? They got uh, oranges? The oranges. Uh, never heard of oranges either. Um. Hmm, oranges. Never heard of that. Actually, some newer stuff we're seeing. Let's be cops. Blu-ray, digital HD. This was an okay movie. It wasn't. It wasn't that great. It was supposed to be this really crazy, ridiculous comedy. It was okay. It wasn't great. Um, full of it with. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh. Son of God, which I heard actually was an okay movie. Never saw it. Powerful and poignant. Actually, a lot of different stuff here. Uh, Kindergarten Cop 2. Oh my God. Dolph, what happened, brother? The first Kindergarten Cop is great. Arnold, awesome. Dolph, I love Dolph. Dolph is fantastic, but why? Oh my God. What a piece of shit movie. Uh, the Visitor. I heard this is really fantastic. I've only seen bits and pieces of it, but from what I saw, it was really fantastic. Huh. For a dollar, that's not bad. Uh, what else I got here? Um, Pee Wee's Playhouse Christmas Special. God. I didn't even know he made a Christmas special. I'm sure... It, did you guys know? I, I I saw I saw the series when I was younger, but I never knew he did a Christmas special. Huh? That is really cool. Huh, okay. Hmm. That is very interesting. I've never heard of this. If you guys have, how is it? Let me know. Um. No. More the counselor. Um. Mid range. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Echoes of War again. The Longest Week, which I have heard of it. I've never seen The Longest Week. I really do like Jason Bateman, though. Jason Bateman is actually the reason I would probably watch this. I I will practically almost watch anything with Jason Bateman. He is great. There's Jason Bateman. Um, what else? The English Teacher. Never heard of this one either. Hmm. This teacher. Um, struck by lightning. Never heard of that. It comes with the slip cover. Very cool. Uh, that could be cool. That's Anything else seen? Age of the Dragons with Danny Glover and Vinnie Jones? What in the hell is this? Um, it, this is weird. I don't think I have ever in a million years would have thought a medieval action epic would have Danny Glover and Vinnie Jones in it, but whatever. Yeah, covers looks cool. I don't know much about it. Interesting. Um, then I have Avengers Grimm with Casper Van Dien, Lou Ferrigno, and Kimo Leopoldo. 
Wow, look at that cover, man. That cover is cool. Very interesting cover. Huh, a new League of Superheroes. Classic like fantasy characters. Whoa. I don't... Hold on. When Rumpelstiltskin destroyed some... What the fuck? Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Rumpel... Rumpel? What in the hell is this? This is so weird, guys. Have you guys ever seen this? Let me know what you think. This is so odd. Man, this is weird. That that synopsis is really odd, man. Okay. Oh, really weird. Uh, other than that, I don't see anything else new here. Um, well, let's see if um, this Dollar Tree has anything else, guys. Okay, guys, we are in this area here and um yeah some really interesting stuff they got here man a lot of some some new stuff here uh venus and serena uh let's see here um uh sleuth same old stuff there uh let's see boy i'm noticing a lot of these jillian michaels like DVDs for like this workout stuff. Apparently they must be like really backed up on J Jillian Michaels because holy shit, there's a crap ton of it. Um, Angels in Stardust with Alicia Silverstone, Billy Burke. Could be cool. I think big. Hmm, okay. Phil, seen that before. Sleuth, Princess, and Education. Really good movie. Um, Charlie Countryman, we saw before. The Memory Keeper's Daughter. I barely remember this movie. I kind of do, but not, not a lot. I, if I remember correctly, it wasn't bad of a movie, but I barely re remember it. I remember that movie. Vacation, a lot of Jillian Michaels stuff. Oh my god, what else they got here? Uh, we got Todd Margaret's Series 1, which I never saw, but I actually heard good things about. They got that here. Um, Blue Jasmine, I think we saw the last time when we were doing this. Um... Uh, Inescapable with Marissa Tomei and Joshua Jackson. Huh. Joshua Jackson, you know, I really liked him in Fringe. But beyond that, I haven't really liked him in a lot else. But he was good in Fringe, though. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, not much else new that I'm seeing over in this section. But we definitely saw a lot of really cool stuff, man, at this one. A lot of new stuff that we had not seen before. I was very, very impressed, indeed. Well, let's head out. Surprise, surprise, we actually got stuff at this Dollar Tree that we didn't even get over at the second one either. So actually some really good selection still. Even though things kind of look a little bit picked over, at least it kind of still has a lot of cool titles and stuff that we didn't see at the other one so i definitely do like that a lot i don't really know how the dollar tree ends up getting their dvds and blu-rays like how do like studios just get backlogged with a lot of product and they just end up like deciding hey you know we're just gonna give you stuff i don't really know how it works but it could be really cool i just don't know how they get it but i don't still really cool interesting titles though so yeah Let's see what the next location could have in store. Maybe even better selection. Let's find out. All right, everybody. We are at our fourth and final Dollar Tree location right here. Oh, uh, you know what? This has been a really cool out and about adventure so far. Yeah, it started off a little rough, but I think we found some really cool things, some really cool titles. And let's hope that this one has some pretty cool stuff to check out as well. Let's give it a go and find out. All right, guys, we are in at the Dollar Tree here, and they have a decent size selection here. Nothing great, probably a little bit picked over here. 
mostly they have like popcorn and you know stuff here for a movie night you know what i'm saying and let's see what they got here they got tactical force with steve austin and michael j white oh god why why steve austin why are you trying to be the rock you can't be the rock you can't be batista i don't know uh, it just it don't, it doesn't look right to me uh yeah you know i'm gonna pass uh no um then i'm seeing let's see what we got here english teacher they got don john uh, little tom and jerry action they got going on here flirting with 40 which still looks really weird to me but you know what this movie reminds me of guys it actually reminds me of how stella got her groove back but that movie probably is much much better than this movie is just saying um they got um personal effects with seven bonus movies included that is weird huh like a sun gold passion's war passion's way that is weird that you get seven bonus movies plus another movie that's i mean that's fine you get it for a dollar but i never uh, it's just weird man uh, and Charlie Countryman, the weather girl with uh, Mark Harmon, Harley Cloudy with a 90% chance of meltdown, rom-coms, uh, okay, well, maybe, it could be kind of cool, I don't know, it doesn't really look great to me, there's... I do like rom-coms, but very few that really intrigue me. Mm. Uh, according to Greta, not a really big fan of Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff is just okay, mm. but not a really big fan. Mm. Yeah, probably pass on that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go there. Let's see. Ooh, the November Man. If you guys have not checked out the November Man, I highly recommend it. Really cool little action movie with Pierce Brosnan. Um, a lot of people sort of say that Pierce Brosnan is sort of done with with action. He can't do it anymore. The November Man proves people wrong. Very cool movie. Very cool. Um. Uh, Song one with Anne Hathaway. What is this about? Hmm. That could be pretty cool. The indie music scene and everything. Hmm. I do like Anne Hathaway. I like she does these sort of very big budget movies and then sort of these offbeat stuff like Song One. Never seen it, but it does intrigue me. Let me know what it's about if you guys have seen it. Um, ooh, Caprica, um, or, or Caprica, I should say, Battlestar Galactica, you know, I wasn't really big into the reboot of Battlestar Galactica, it just wasn't my thing, but I heard this was not bad, actually, the, it's sort of the prequel movie, I think, to the whole series, um, I've heard okay things about it, it's not bad, I do like Eric Stoltz, though, hmm, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but, let me know what you guys think. Um, the, my one and only with Renee Zellweger. Kevin Bacon, Logan Lerman, Chris Nolf, Nick Stahl, and Weber. Uh, huh. Not bad. You know what this kind of... She kind of reminds me of? She kind of reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. She has the look of Marilyn for some reason. Not sure she could pull off Marilyn, but, hmm, not bad. Um, then they have this four-movie collection of Are You Here, The Baby Makers, Labor Pains, and Bernie. Uh, the only one I've seen of these is Bernie, but I really like Bernie. If, if, if it was just a Bernie, I probably would pick it up, but I don't know about these other ones. Not really too sure about them. Let me know what you guys think, but mm, I think maybe Bernie might be the best of the bunch. 
Uh, see the hollow point. Okay, not bad, I guess. It's right in the I do like Patrick Wilson, E. McShane, Jim Belushi, John Leguizamo. Looks interesting. Good men can do bad things. Okay. Could be cool. Mexican cartel borders. Hmm. Not bad. Let me know what you guys think. Uh. No. A Manador's Mistress with Adrian Brody and Penelope Cruz. This could be really cool. Never heard of it. He defied death like a god. He's a come to love like a man. Uh, superb, fiery, and passionate love story. Epic and unforgettable. Set in the 1940s. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, that could be cool. Hmm. Never heard of it, but I do like Adrian Bro Brody. Penelope Cruz, mm, a little bit. Um, oh, Jesus, God. I remember this movie. This movie, I, okay, guys, if you like it, fair enough. I'm not going to fault you, but this movie is pure dog shit. Oh, my God, this movie is terrible. I really don't like this movie. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of Jamie Kennedy. Outside of... You know, the Scream movies I haven't done much for me. Um, uh, yeah, i not a fan whatsoever. Mm. I can see why it's a dollar. Just put it that way. Uh, a little bit. And then not much else here guys but they actually have some really cool stuff that we have not seen at the other dollar trees either so they actually got some pretty cool selection too um yeah not bad at all well i guess that does it for uh the dollar tree here guys so not bad selection here at this dollar tree because even though it's kind of picked over still like all the other ones What's really cool is that we still got to find stuff that we didn't find at the other Dollar Trees as well. So it seems like every Dollar Tree, even though there was still stuff that we saw from all the other ones, there's still like new stuff to check out. And I really like that. In fact, I think that this time we got much more selection than we got the last time, which was really cool. A lot of really interesting, weird titles, um, really popular titles as well. I was really surprised by what the Dollar Trees had this time around. It was very cool, really awesome to check this stuff out. So let's head out and finish the video, guys. All right, guys, that'll do it for the Dollar Tree out and about video. And this was really interesting going out and doing this again. I honestly really didn't know what to expect this time around and I was really pleasantly surprised. A hell of a lot more selection than what I found the first time I did this type of video. And just a really a lot of different array of titles. It seemed like the Dollar Tree definitely got in a heck of a lot more supply than last time. Uh, really just out there titles, really popular stuff, a really cool mix of a lot of different genres and everything. Yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised, very happy with what I found. Um, this is kind of a cool video to do every now and again. And I want to thank, first of all, my mother, because actually my mother works at one of the most popular Dollar Trees in all of New York State. And she told me that uh, her Dollar Tree was getting in some blu-rays and dvds so she figured that all the other stores were getting stuff as well so i gotta thank her i also have to thank one of my subscribers tommy forland who also let me know that this was going on as well i really appreciated him giving me the heads up very very well appreciated thank you very much tommy and yeah it's just it's just really cool doing this checking stuff out you never know what you're gonna find at the dollar tree for physical media, it's always kind of a crapshoot, and I just really love doing this. 
and I talked to one of the employees at one of the Dollar Trees that I went to, and um, she says that they get stuff in at random. So it's not like every Dollar Tree gets a whole crap load of boxes of Blu-rays and DVDs. It, it, they go to select locations, and some get more, some get less. Uh, it's it's just it's just random. No one gets you know one thing or everybody gets all of it. It's just you know uh, picking and choosing. And so it definitely is a gamble anytime you go to these Dollar Trees because you never know what you're gonna find. Like in the video here, uh, the first place we went to was not really really great selection. A lot of stuff from last time. Whereas the other three had a lot of different and interesting selection. A lot of stuff that we hadn't seen before. You never know until you do these type of of videos where you go out and you sort of explore stuff. You don't know until you do it. And so it was really fascinating, really cool. I'm glad I did it again. And I picked up some titles that I was really interested in checking out. I picked up the DVD of The Key Man right here. Um, I was really fascinated by it. I love the actors in here. Hugo Weaving, Brian Cox, Judy Greer. It seems like a really cool story, and for a dollar, what the hell, right? Not bad. Uh, I also picked up the Blu-ray of The King of Comedy here with uh, my man Robert De Niro and Jerry Lewis. I haven't seen this in such a long time, but I remember loving it, and... For a dollar, man, it's it's a really, really great deal. You get um, Tribeca Film Festival conversation with Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro, Jerry Lewis. You also get The Making of the King, a comedy, deleted and extended scene, theatrical trailer. Not bad special features for only a dollar. Definitely worth it. Glad I picked that up. I also got The Fault in Our Stars. Um, I haven't have it in the collection yet. I don't have it, but I was like, okay, it's for a dollar. I'm going to pick it up. It could be really cool. And um, this is the Little Infinities Extended Edition, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Um, it could be really, really cool, guys. And there's a lot of great special features on this sucker. You get, um, let's see here, you get an audio commentary by the director and author of the book, you get the stars align book to screen, you get uh, promotional featurettes, uh, behind the scenes, gallery, a whole bunch more. It's definitely a worthy, worthy pickup. Um, I love these type of romantic dramas. The Fault in Our Stars was actually, I was pleasantly surprised by it. I really liked it a lot and uh, yeah, glad to have it in the collection. And last, but certainly not least, guys, I picked up Bubble. Um, man, I love Steven Soderbergh. And, you know, I'm always surprised by titles that I've never heard of before. Kind of like when I did the Blu-ray pickup video and I got that John Carpenter title, Someone's Watching Me. I didn't even know John Carpenter had ever directed that mo movie. I'd never even heard of it. And I was just pleasantly surprised by that. And the same with this. Um, Steven Soderbergh is such an experimental filmmaker and the the story seems fascinating and I'm just always kind of always interested to find out more from filmmakers and anything that I don't know I'm always kind of gravitating towards because I want to find out everything about their filmography and I love Steven Soderbergh so this is definitely a worthy pickup. I definitely am going to check this out. Hopefully I'm going to love it. But it's Steven Soderbergh. I almost like practically everything he's done. So it's a really good pickup. And so yeah, that's the four titles that I picked up. Picked up four titles, guys. Much more that I picked up than last time, which I only picked up one title. So definitely a better haul this time around. But definitely let me know if you guys have gone to the Dollar Trees lately. What have you picked up? Some of the cool stuff you found. Definitely let me know. And yeah, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, check out the other movie hunting videos I've done. Check out the Blu-ray DVD out and about videos that I do every Tuesday. Check out the Blu-ray pickup videos. Check out the theatrical movie reviews I do with my friends every single week. Plus, so much more content on the channel. I love movies. I love physical media. I have a passion for it. I love sharing it with all of my subscribers. And I love my subscribers. The support, the comments, everything. They've been so wonderful to me. And I try to 
give 110% every single time in the videos. Whether I succeed or fail, it's up to them, but I try my hardest for them because they are some of the best subscribers I can ask for. So if you like the content on the channel, become a part of the Film Fan Nation. And also keep up to date with all the videos I'm doing through my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook, FilmFan108. Check me out there as well and keep up to date with all of the stuff I'm posting. Alright guys, I hope you have done some good movie hunting lately, gone to the Dollar Tree stores because they have some pretty damn cool stuff this time around. And I will see you back next time for another movie hunting video. Alright guys, I will see you later and happy hunting.